Hey there, we're already feels like we're whizzing through July. Uh, we've finally had some rain and it's nice and hot, so the okra is responding. I'm gonna give you a quick look at our Whidbey White. We've got one of our first pods. Um, and then as always, it's been so fun to see all of you growers that are ahead of me already producing pods and showing me what you've got. Um, and yeah, let's just look at my okra and uh, keep sharing in this awesome community seed selection project. So I've shown you this before, but it's obviously looking a bit different now. We've got these hundred cultivars of Abelmotia species, most of which are okra, but some of them are also uh, other species within that genus. And then this is my Whidbey White, which is growing up here. Uh, quite a few of you have commented on the large leaf size of Whidbey White. Um, I'm excited to, to hear that and I love that you're paying attention to the plants. A secondary selection criteria could be large glossier leaves that don't have the spininess. So maybe take a little nibble and see if it kind of you feel those spines on your lips and if you're getting plants producing spineless leaves then we know the leaves have a much higher protein content in the pods and could be a real awesome summer green so that's what, something to pay attention to for sure i have noticed some of those glossier leaves in these populations even though i've not really been paying too much attention one thing that's kind of interesting that i've been selecting for but it's still showing up is this like i've been selecting against any red coloration in the petioles the stem here the petiole uh, and in the leaf veins, so I'm still seeing a little bit of red, but a lot of it's gone. And then some plants, you know, just seem a lot paler, right? Look at this one here. Hardly any red in there. Very pale plants. And I'm not necessarily convinced that there's a direct correlation between pale pods and no red color anywhere else. But we've got plants like this that I'm probably not going to select for, where there's quite a lot of red there, and then you see it carried on through the petiole. So um, that would be something I didn't want to select for. I want like paleness through the entire plant as well as the pod. And then if we go down low and actually look down here, then I've got my first pod, which I'm gonna harvest and pull in. The camera is making it look kind of green, but it looks pale with my eyes. So that's kind of a pretty exciting start. Uh, I'm going to show you the color card later in this video, but I do want to acknowledge that um, I should have designed it with way more yellows in the green. So version 2 is going to be slightly different because uh, it's hard to really match it up and my uh, inexperienced artistic color expression was not, not totally on. But um, I'm going to redesign it with more yellows in it for uh, next year's color chart, but it's still a super useful tool for me because I'm going to be able to still compare colors. I'm going to be able to use that card as a baseline, which is what I want to do when I'm looking at all your different okras that you've grown. Okay, and then the other thing I'm going to jump up, I nearly forgot, is um, we're growing would be white question mark. I'm not going to go over that history again, so you can go back and look um, at the landing page for the information about this potential original seed crop. But, um, it's, it's interesting because what we're seeing at this stage is pretty Clemson spineless-ish, spineless which, you know, if it was going to be some other random seed, it was likely to be Clemson spineless. We're seeing a lot of reds, coloration. We don't have any actual pods here yet, but I am going to be surprised. You know, we're not far off pods, but I'm going to be very surprised if we see white pods on this population of plants so that doesn't really give us confirmation either way like whether this is the true would be white but i if it looks just like clemson spineless then i'm gonna go ahead and assume that that trail has run cold and that the work that we're doing to reclaim this stubby pale pod we're still game on uh, we're still game on anyway because it's uh, turning into a pretty awesome variety uh, So yeah, that's my update. Uh, I'm gonna quickly show you the color co card with this pod and just how I think it needs to be used 
and uh, yeah, keep uploading those updates. Okay, I've brought my single Whidbey White pod back home and I just want to show you what I've done with the color card that we've been using. You can use it in the field, but because of bright sunlight and all that sort of stuff, it kind of makes it challenging. So I'm just going to show you what I've done. This, this is what will be most useful to me. As I've already acknowledged, I didn't bring enough yellows into my green color selection. So actually pulling off a number from this chart to say, oh, this okra is a is, is probably not going to happen too well. But if you can put your card on a white piece of paper and take a photograph out of direct sunlight, but with natural light, so don't turn on your fluorescent lights or whatever. And then all you need to do is just tap the, if you're using a phone camera, you can have it take its contrast from the the white paper so you can just tap the white paper and it kind of gives the phone a baseline on what to take the picture from and then take a picture and what that should do is when you send me those photographs it'll give me a baseline to compare somebody's okra in Miami versus someone's okra in Decor, Iowa versus West Coast and I can look at all those pictures and have a baseline to go, oh, okay, that, that one is the palest of this collection. Because I don't just want everybody's palest pod to come back to me, because then I'll have 260 pods, some of which may have been the palest in your field, but may not be the palest out of the whole community project. So the whole idea here is I, I'm only going to want a subset of your pods, and I want the palest of the palest. So that's why the card is still useful, even though I'm a little sad I missed out some yellows. Um, and I look forward to seeing them popping up in my email or Facebook or wherever you want to post them uh, as these plants start producing some okra.